Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and this week on your pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop movies, Assassin's Creed number 379, Crouching Aguilar, Vinyl Figure, Loot Crate Exclusive. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, this is the Funko Pop Movies Assassin's Creed number 379. Loot Crate exclusive Aguilar Crouching Vinyl Figure. So, as you can see, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, I've only seen the movie once, and I didn't really care that much for it. It wasn't as great as I was hoping. Uh, but as you can see here, here, there he is on the front display side there peeking up on the top the back you got 375 is Ag standard Aguilar 376 is Maria 377 Ojeda 378 Caleb Lynch collect the entire line of Funko Pop Assassin's Creed super stylized vinyl figures and this clamshell, it's just a regular clamshell, no clips or anything to hold it, so it's just going to flop around. Um, this guy, let's go and zoom in. He really needs a base to attach to, otherwise it's going to be somewhat difficult to get him to stand on his own, or crouch on his own, I guess. Zoom back out, show you what I'm talking about. He's not very well balanced. Uh, they should have maybe brought his hand out a little bit more. Um, they did pay very good attention to detail with the uh, cut his ring finger off for the hidden blade attack, which is very game accurate and movie accurate. Um, however, they got his hidden blade on the wrong hand though. Uh, the hidden blade should be on the same hand as the ring finger being cut off. It's not. Um, and if they were going to have it on this hand they needed to remove that ring finger as well. Because the way the old assassins worked was that's why it was a hidden blade. It came up right out of where the ring finger would be so that they didn't have to do one of they didn't have to do one of these things they could just it just come right up through there you know but i digress some good detail on this guy but also some sloppy paint job as well you got the tattoo here on the eye which looks very sloppily done um, I'm not sure how accurate that is to the movie, uh, but it looks very sloppy. And you got some of the circles that are a lot darker than the others. Um, they're not straight lines at all. Very jagged and crooked. You got paint from the beard bleeding off onto his skin. Some paint from the hood bleeding off onto his skin. Uh, I really like the detail though. The embroidered look they did on the assassin's logo or symbol for his hood it does have the beak for his hood uh, <clears throat> got some nice detail on the jacket there and the gauntlets see his uh, dagger in his sash there but some of the paint from the sash 
came off onto the dagger. You got some of the paint from his uh, gauntlet on his hand there. Nice silver color to his hidden blade. Very nice work, but again, paint from his gauntlet onto his uh, little on his hand there. But overall, not too bad. Uh, they should have, like I said, the only problems I have really are they should have brought made a sent a stand along with him. Because he's just going to keep falling over if I display him out of the box. Which I'm not an out of the box displayer anyway. So that's not too bad. But if you want to get him as a completionist. And you want to display him out of the box. Good luck. Um, also another qualm was you know the tattoo on his face. A little bit of sloppiness on the paint. Not too bad though. Not as bad as the Green Ranger one. Um. This finger should be gone since it's got the hidden blade there. Um, and it looks like there is no hidden blade on this hand. So why they didn't just remove this finger and leave this finger alone is beyond me. Uh, they should have probably paid a little bit better attention to that. But uh, his head does spin all the way around like with most pop finals. Uh, but there you have it guys. Funko Pop Movies Assassin's Creed number 379, Loot Crate exclusive Crouching Aguilar vinyl figure. I'm Shannon. We'll see you next time on another pop review on Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. Take care. If you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.